And it's not just because I ran a dating company that I, I fall back to dating as a great analogy for, for uh, co-founder and uh, founding relationships. It's this notion that it requires both the initial attraction as well as the long-term compatibility. The initial attraction might be, oh my gosh, you went to this great school or you worked at this company, we should co-found a company together. That would be the same as, as someone spotting someone across a bar and walking up to them because there's this spark. Now that spark, just like in romantic relationships, fades away very quickly and it has to be replaced by the underlying foundation. In a romantic context, the underlying foundation is how do you feel about money? How do you feel about kids? How do you want to uh, kind of what are the, your key values in your life? And, and those actually apply almost almost identical to uh, a co-founder. Even if I had uh, I found out someone worked at Google on machine learning for this online dating company that I started, that would be the spark. But underneath that is, again, how do they feel about money? Right? Do they like to sit on $5 steel folding chairs or do they want a beautiful office with a view? That manifests in many ways. Um, how do they feel about their, their core values? Right? Is this about solving online dating or is it about making a lot of money or is it about uh, making a big impact in the world? None of those are bad, but finding that alignment on core values is much more important than the initial spark. When I moved out to Palo Alto without a co-founder, this time when I assembled the founding team, I was looking more for uh, alignment on core values. And it was de facto. I had already started working on the product, so I needed people who could code with me. I also needed people who were okay working for free in a small apartment, sitting on a $5 steel folding chair above a subway. And that automatically filtered people as opposed to trying to do that in a document or some other artificial process.